it's not sane. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 rock one hit wonders. For this list, we'll be looking at the most notable rock bands who achieved significant success with a single track in the United States. We realize that some of these stars did release other music that charted, but we're basing our picks on them being primarily known for one hit. Which of these one hit wonders is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Harvey Danger Flagpole Sitta Some one-hit wonders are products of their musical climates, while others serve as a reaction to those climates. Harvey Danger speaks of a post-grunge disaffection with a sarcastic sense of humor and biting wit with this song, and they deliver that message with some killer grooves. Flagpole Sitta rages with an energy that's infectious, while frontman Sean Nelson is intelligent and magnetic, bringing to mind at times the delivery of Bad Religion's Greg Graffin. Harvey Danger never again achieved a single with the same sort of buzz as Flagpole Sitta, but perhaps it's for the best, as lightning was never going to strike twice with this sort of alternative rock magic. Number 9. The Knack My Sharona New wave music had a lot of memorable faces throughout the late 1970s into the 1980s, and just as many hit singles to boot. The Knack always felt like they had more fuel left in their creative tank, though. It makes it all the more surprising that they're primarily known only for their hit My Sharona. But what a hit it was. All guitar-driven pop rock glory that was a little punk, a little radio-friendly, and fully ready for mass consumption. The Knack did earn some charting singles in the US after My Sharona ruled the airwaves, but only Good Girls Don't made its presence known just outside the top 10. Number 8. Uriah Heep – Easy Livin' Heavy progressive rock has always been more of an album format genre as opposed to one driven by charting hit singles. England's Uriah Heep bucked this trend with a song that achieved surprising success back in 1972. Living was the band's only flirtation with mainstream success in the United States. It's a hard driving rocker that sounds tailor made to shake stadiums and blow out boomboxes. A small handful of the group's other singles limped onto low positions on the Billboard Hot 100, but none of them have had remotely the same amount of impact as Easy Living. But we don't think it matters much to Uriah Heep, since the Riff Lords haven't let it stop them from doing their thing on tour. Number 7. Weedus – Teenage Dirtbag Teenage Dirtbag is undoubtedly the best known song from the New York band Weedus in America. But the track's chart success was actually more impressive in countries like Australia, Belgium, and Germany. We just saw Teenage Dirtbag hit the number one and two slots in those countries, while the song only managed to squeak in at 124 in the US. Still, this takes nothing away from the quirky vocal delivery and heartfelt lyrics about life as a lonely adolescent metalhead in a small-minded town. Teenage Dirtbag gave the band a taste of success in the States and gave us a great song to jam to. Wheatus' follow-up single, A Little Respect, didn't achieve the success of its predecessor worldwide. No, she doesn't know what she's missing. Number 6. King Harvest – Dancing in the Moonlight You may know the song, but do you know who sings it? We get it almost every night. 
Dancing in the Moonlight is something of a classic rock staple, a tune that can even be heard on supermarket Muzak stations. If you're shopping at a cool supermarket, Still, not many of the song's casual fans are aware that King Harvest, who recorded a cover of the song, were actually a fairly soulful and energetic rock band in their own right. We like our phone and we never fight. You can't dance and stay up tight. Dancing in the Moonlight hits right away with a memorable opening melody before diving headfirst into a soulful and funky bit of excellence. King Harvest may not have had another song reach the heights of this one, but Dancing in the Moonlight remains an all-time classic. Number 5. Fountains of Wayne, Stacy's Mom We're not going to pretend that the video for Stacy's Mom didn't garner Fountains of Wayne tons of attention thanks to a memorable appearance from supermodel Rachel Hunter. Stacy, can I come over? That said, the song is catchy as all get out, so we totally can hear why it became a hit on its own musical merit. Securing the number 21 spot on the Billboard Hot 100, it was Fountain of Wayne's first and last real hit. Only the band's earlier single, Radiation Vibe, made a low appearance at number 71 on the Billboard Radio Songs chart. Still, you can do a lot worse than having Stacy's mom as your calling card, right? Number 4. Ugly Kid Joe – Everything About You Ugly Kid Joe is extremely good at mixing heavy riffs with funky bass and sardonic lyrics. Nowhere is that more obvious than in their smash hit single, Everything About You. Released in their debut EP, As Ugly As They Wanna Be, and subsequently heard in Wayne's World, it's a breakup song with a snarling sense of humor. Blending hard rock with pop, the number is instantly recognizable, and for good reason. Whitfield Crane might be one of the more underrated singers of his generation, and Ugly Kid Joe's musical credentials are never in doubt, especially when it comes to this rock song. And everything about you. <laughs> Number 3. Ram Jam, Black Betty. Ram Jam liked to rock. Ram Jam liked to roll. Ram Jam also liked to boogie, and that's where Black Betty comes into the picture. Black Betty had a child. The song was the New York-based band's only brush with chart success, but it made them something of an infamous example of 1970s arena rock excess. Black Betty is the sort of boogie tune that's memorable, easy to sing along to, and airy enough to just exist for the good times. You dig? It's a great combination of traits, to be sure. And the lack of public interest in Ram Jam afterward gave credence to the idea that perhaps Black Betty was all the record buying faithful needed. Number 2. Thin Lizzy. The Boys Are Back in Town. Call it the story of rock's unsung heroes, the band whose influence continues to permeate hard rock and heavy metal despite not burning up the US charts during their initial run. We're talking about Thin Lizzy, of course. Their jailbreak album got the attention of American audiences, mainly due to the all-time epic jam, The Boys Are Back in Town. If you've heard it, you understand why. You know that chick that used to dance a lot? Every night she'd be on the floor shaking what she'd got. As you can imagine, the band seemed poised to make it big in the States afterward, but it ultimately wasn't meant to be. Don't feel too bad, though. Thin Lizzy had more success in areas like the UK and their native Ireland. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions that may not have been number one on the charts, but were number one in our hearts. EMF 
unbelievable. It's worth it for the Andrew Dice Clay sample alone. You're unbelievable. <laughs> Green Jelly, Three Little Pigs, Parodic Punk Rock with an Infamous Video, little pig, little pig, whack me L7, Pretend We're Dead, Powerful and Influential Grunge Greatness, Question Mark and the Mysterians, 96 Tears, a prime example of garage rock. You're gonna cry, 96 tears. You're gonna cry, 96 tears. Blind Melon, No Rain, an epic alternative rock anthem. All I can say is that my life is pretty plain. I like watching the puddles gather before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Living Color – Cult of Personality Sure, this immensely talented group from New York City has seen other songs hit positions within the first 50 of the Billboard Hot 100. But even diehard fans of the band might be hard-pressed to defend against the notion that Cult of Personality is Living Color's defining tune. It's electric right from the get-go as Vernon Reed lets loose with that iconic opening riff. Then it's time for vocalist Corey Glover to howl some fiery political lyrics with soul and passion to spare. It's a mixture of funky vocals and spitfire guitar work, and the result is a magic moment where inspiration and perspiration combined. It's no wonder it achieved noteworthy chart success. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.